In today's video, we wanted to answer a question for you that a lot of people had regarding the Pi network. It is a pretty consequential and significant question that is how much one Pi coin can be potentially worth. This video is ideal for anybody who wants to see some real hard numbers. The purpose of this video is really to show you guys how we actually estimated the price of a Pi coin after doing these estimations. We are pretty happy that we got into the Pi network not so long ago. The valuation of the Pi coin looks a lot better than we thought in the first place for anyone who does not know what we are talking about. The Pi network is a decentralized cryptocurrency platform that permits you to mine Pi from your own phone. This whole thing was actually started by a couple of Stanford graduates back in 2019. With all of this being mentioned let us dive into the video and start estimating the worth and value of a Pi coin. Please we need your support to keep our channel grow by subscribing. It's at least the only favor we ask from you. You see to be able to estimate the price of a Pi coin we wanted to estimate two things we wanted to estimate the potential supply of Pi coin and we also wanted to get a good idea of the demand. Afterward, we are going to calculate a price. The first thing I wanted to pay attention to is the supply side which we assume a lot of you guys will find pretty amazing. We have always wondered how many Pi coins are out there and we guess we finally started to get our butts out of our seats and started to do some actual work and for this calculation to turn out correctly we needed a couple of pieces of information and that included things like the historical mining rates of the Pi network, the date of all the times the mining rate has been reduced and also the max number of users before the mining rates are reduced. This information and data are going to help me estimate the total number of Pi coins that are mined on the network it is actually a very simple calculation. If you really think about it we don't plan to do anything fancy and unusual all we need to do is some very basic and simple multiplication and division and to give you guys an accurate example. Let us try to estimate the total number of Pi coins mined just before the network hits 10,000 users the only math that needs to be done here. In this case, is to multiply 10,000 users by December 3rd to figure out how much they are getting per hour that turns out to be circa 31,000 pies. And we can multiply that number by 24 and that number represents one day. From this, we can clearly see that is circa 744,000 coins are actually mined on the network every single day. Once we find out that information the only thing we need to do next is multiplying that number by the number of days before the network hits 10,000 users. This turned out to be 69 days since the project started on March 14th a couple of years ago or to be more exact in 2019. It eventually hit 10,000 users on May 22nd the thing that needs to be done now is to multiply the number 69 by the number of pies that are earned per day and that is actually going to give us the whole and absolute supply of 51,336,000 coins during this period. And if you're paying closer attention we do hope that you realize the issue with this calculation it pretty much assumes that 10,000 people were mining every single day from the beginning of the Project until May the 22nd we do know that this is not entirely true since the network did not start with 10,000 people. It was actually gradual and slow extension and growth over a longer period. For the sake of this video, we are going to assume that this is the case. One of the main reasons we have to use this is we simply do not have the basic data and information. We do not have the data on the total number of users every single day and we don't want to think that this is going to be a problem since it pretty much overestimates. We are also going to get a price that is a lot lower than the real one and you might remember it is good to be conservative since the price of a Pi coin might be a lot higher than we will estimate. So after finishing this we will have the total number of supplies for. The first 69 days after this we are going to repeat the same process for every single day until December 31, 2021. We selected December 31 as the last day because the developers estimate the mining for Pi will stop in quarter 4 in 2021. This can mean October, November or December and we decided to be the very last day just to be conservative the total amount of Pi here is circa 117 billion Pi's. Before we move on to the demand part we do have to adjust this number a little bit that is because countless people don't actually earn the base mining rate and we also have to factor in the bonus. Referrals as well at this very moment, the project suggests that you can earn 0.2 pies every hour. That number also includes a full security circle and also the base pioneer rate. 
We are aware that not everybody is going to have their security circle filled maybe this is not the most ideal way but we do think it would be good for YouTube videos and also the fact that it is really simple to apply the last thing we had to do is estimate the inactivity on the network and also how much the developers are getting as well. Let's assume that the developers are going to receive 1% of those 82 billion. You have to consider the supply of Pi coins and we can hardly define the supply because still, we have no clear information on that. So we are assuming and calculating with the information we have. The estimated supply is around 84 billion Pi once we calculate the supply now we need the demand. We are going to try and calculate the demand now usually, the demand can be a very complicated factor because almost none can exactly say how much the demand can reach. We are going to use the experience from other coins and we're gonna do it by the method of price range and the amount of the supply we are assuming that the demand is a ratio between the price and the supply of a single cryptocurrency. Let's look at Stellar for a second to make things clear. Stellar is at a price of around 35 cents at the moment and its supply is around 50 billion. If you want to divide these two numbers you will get a number. That is what we call a ratio from here we can assume that the Pi coin will have roughly the same ratio and if you do the cross multiply you can easily get the price is going to be around $1.17. For sure this is not the exact number and it is not very sure that the math is going to be exactly the same because even we are conservative with the estimation. It is very hard to determine the demand and to convert the demand into an accurate number but this is the closest that anyone can get of course we may be using methods that you might find strange but if you have any other methods to estimate the price of this or any other coin please let us. Know in the comments below. We are using similar techniques to predict the price of some other coins in the past and it turned out to be true some other experts are using some similar methods as well. If you look up online on some websites that are trying to protect the price of Pi coin you're going to get a similar price as we got from this calculation. If we have in mind the number of miners in the Pi network we can easily calculate how much on average the person will have if they have mined every day on average one person should have around 835 coins this is of course because of the fact that there should be around 83 billion coins and around 100 million users. If you calculate now these coins on the predicted price that we got earlier you will get the number of $100,431 per person and you can do your own calculations if you are doing the math for the price that we have already mentioned. It depends on the number of coins that you would have it is the reward in dollars that you were going to get of course, we accept all of the suggestions if you have any about our calculation maybe this way we can help each other find out how much the price might be. If you have any other ideas please share them in the comments below. Also, it is going to be very smart to share this video with someone who can help us with a more precise calculation. Thank you for watching this video if you find it interesting. Please subscribe so we can stay motivated for more videos. See you in the next one. Thank you all.